Hey there everyone, my name is Daniel from Audible and I'm going to show you all a convenient tool called AccessDev, which helps automate the setup and running processes of using the Modable SDK. On macOS, the prerequisites are that you have a version of Node greater than version 14 installed, as well as the Xcode command line tools. I have Node installed using NVM, which I installed using Homebrew. Later steps will check for the Xcode command line tools and attempt to install them using Homebrew if not already installed. More details on installing these will be included in the description. Once you have Node installed, you can install XSDev by running the following command. Now that XSDev is installed, let's set it up. Now that XSDev has been set up, close and reopen your terminal. Once you've done this, you can try running an example. The model SDK comes with numerous examples to choose from, and XSDev allows us to view all of them with the following command. You can browse the examples with your arrow keys, but if you know generally what you're looking for, you can start typing to filter the results. Another way we can see what's available is by going to the Modable SDK directory, which is mapped to the Modable environment variable. So now when we open it, we see where XSDev references the examples it listed. There is also excellent documentation available in this directory, which can be found on the Modable GitHub page as well. Now let's try an example. Going into the examples directory, then the network directory, and then into the HTTP directory. The example I will demonstrate is called HTTP get JSON. This example will show us the weather in Menlo Park, though we need an internet connection for it to work. When running projects using the Modable simulator, the simulator uses your device's existing internet connection. However, if you want to run on a device like the Modable 2, manually configuring the Wi-Fi is required, which I will show you how to do soon. For now, let's run this example with XSDev on the simulator. Once it's finished building, you will see two windows. One is the debugging window, and the other is the simulator. In the debugging window, we see the console message being traced to the console. The simulator lets us run projects without having another device to run them on. But there are many devices that the Modable SDK supports. And XSDev provides automated setup for several of these devices, which we can see with the following command. Here are some more devices that the Modable SDK supports. And instructions to set these devices up can be found in the Modable documentation, which is linked in the description. Now let's try running this example on the Modable 2. The Modable 2 is based on an ESP32, so we will be using the following command to prepare our machine for the Modable 2 and other ESP32 based devices. Once this is complete, close and reopen your terminal. Now that we have everything set up, we can run the example on the Modable 2. But first, to see the devices you have connected, you can run the following command. As you can see, the device is connected and is recognized by our machine. I mentioned before that if your project requires an internet connection, the Wi-Fi needs to be configured by running on an external device like this. By adding the following parameters to our command to run the project, as you can see here, we specify the Wi-Fi credentials necessary to get the device connected to the internet when it runs. Now this will take some time to build, but as you can see, no simulator appears, but we do still have access bug appearing showing us that the device is connected to the internet and of course, telling us what the weather is in Menlo Park. Now that we know a little bit about how to use access dev in the Modable SDK, let's try making our own project. So let's base it on the HTTP GET JSON example that I showed already. XSDev makes this very easy. With the following command, specifying the name as my project, and the example we want to start off with like so, XSDev makes a project for us. So now going into the directory XSDev created for our project, we see the main.js and manifest files required for the project. Now running the project, we see that we get the same results as before. One other thing this example lets us do is get the weather information using MQTT, though it has to be added to our list of included files in the manifest.json. Adding modules to our project is easy with XSDev. With the following command, we can add the MQTT module to our project, which you can see here. As you can see, 
Access Dev can be very useful for automating various processes in the Monable SDK. More documentation on Access Dev can be found here, and I will also link this in the description. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you enjoy using Access Dev with the Monable SDK. Thank you.